ანტიანწლებთან დაკავშირებით და გაიმეორა ამ საკითხში თინა ბოგუჩავა შეგიტყოთ ან What you just saw happened in the parliament of Georgia. The man who was punched is Mamukam Dinaradza, leader of the Georgian Dreams parliamentary faction. The attacker is Aleko Elisashvili, an opposition MP. Things came to a head over a controversial bill the Georgian Dream Party reintroduced in parliament a year after it was shelved. Outside, Georgians gathered to protest against what they dubbed as a Russian law demanding that the government withdraw the bill. According to the bill, organizations that accept funds from abroad need to register as foreign agents or face fines. I'm protesting this Russian law. Second time, uh, yeah, first time we thought it was successful, but now we have to do it second time. And this is frustrating because I think that this is really bad for our European future and we have to fight now or we'll just lose it. The bill has strained relations with European countries and the United States. The European Union, which gave Georgia candidate status in December, has said the move is incompatible with the bloc's values. It's not about the law. I mean, it's not about the legal proceedings. It's about the geopolitical choice, right? In that uh, committee hearing, I mean, we had this geopolitical discussion whether Georgia is going to European Union or Georgia is going to Russia. Prime Minister Irakli Kobakhidza says he doesn't understand what the fuss is all about. He has defended the bill, saying it promotes accountability. We offer the ambassadors of the United States, European Union and EU member states to hold public discussions on the draft law, he has said. President Salome Zurabishvili, an open critic of the Georgian Dream Party, has sided with the protesters. In a post on X, she pledged support for the protesters, saying Georgia will not surrender to re-Sovietization. Russia is unpopular in Georgia due to its support for two breakaway regions in the ex-Soviet state, Abshakia and South Ossetia. Russia defeated Georgia in a short war in 2008. I hope we push hard enough to uh, get this uh, get this law out of uh, out of the out of the parliament. But uh, if they don't do it, uh, I, I think we have to push enough to get rid of this government. Elections are due by October and these protests apart, opinion polls suggest Georgian Dream remains the most popular party, though it has lost ground since the last election in 2020. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more.